Rosie. You still there? Hello? Hey! What? Jesus H. Christ! Where? Who? Take me now! Where are you going? Are we there? Gigi, you're here too! We went together! Where? Heaven! Okay, we gotta tell the nurse to adjust your morphine dose. It's a miracle, my blanket, my rosary, it's all here. I actually was afraid it would be all fluffy clouds and sunshine. It always seems so drafty. And the glare, my God. Rosie, we're not dead. No, we are resurrected. This is not heaven. It's not? If it is, I'm converting. I thought we passed together. If we did, dear God, make me an atheist. So we're not dead? Close, but no cigar. And this is in heaven. It's Uncasville. Uncasville? That's the back of the Mohegan Casino. What? What are we doing at a casino? Dinner and a show. Really? Don't bet on it. So we didn't pass? Well, you did toot a couple of times in your sleep. That was me. What do you think it was, the Archangel Gabriel honking his horn? You woke me up. Huh? I was having a nice dream and you woke me. I wanted to see if you were still there. Of course I was still there. You got two eyes, don't you? Barely. What time is it? I don't know. Is that sunrise or sunset? I don't know. Did we eat yet? I can't remember. Oh. Well, I'm glad you're still there. Where am I gonna go? Pony Island? Oh, never mind. I'm so confused. Yeah, well, what's new? I'll tell you what's not new. You're still a pain in my ass. You better watch your mouth. We both got one foot in the grave, and if you think heaven looks like the back of a casino, imagine what hell is gonna look like. Hopefully the inside of a casino. Ah, your mother. Your mother. Anyway, God is not sending me to hell for calling you an heir. He'll give me extra points for telling you the truth. In that case, if I'm a pain in your ass, then you're a cranky pit. Oh, yeah? Well, I hope that when I die, I die alone. Without you. How about that? And I hope I go first. So you're left here all alone, missing me. In fact, I'm going to pray for that right now. You're a piece of work. All right, that's enough. All right, knock it off. Now you hurt my feelings. Apology. For what? For calling me a bit. A cranky bit. Apologize. I'm sorry. For what? For calling you the B-word. And? And what? If you don't know, I'm not telling you. Oh, for goodness sake, just tell me. For well, waking me up from my dream. I needed to know you were still there. I was having a nice dream. Oh, yeah? What was it about? What? Your dream. <sighs> None of your business. Bullshit. Ooh, strike two. Tell me a dream, or I'll pray to God to die for Copycat! God doesn't like copycat. Who told you that? Sister Catherine, fourth grade, Cathedral Elementary East Side, and Mary Sullivan copied a line from my essay about the Last Supper and how it made no sense that in all the painting, Jesus and the disciples are on one side of the table. And Mary Sullivan wrote in her essay how it made no sense that Jesus wasn't sitting at the head of it. I handed in my essay first. And Sister Catherine told Mary Sullivan. And you? You are a copycat and a scaredy cat telling me I All right, who cares? Sister Catherine was a psychopathic idiot. <gasps> Shoot! Hold on. Okay, where were we? You're gonna need to pray a little longer and harder for insulting a nun. <laughs> what are you laughing at? 
longer and harder. Pussy! <laughs> Do you think there are erections in heaven? Pussy! <laughs> Boing, and on the third day he rose again. <gasps> oh my God, Bobby Cat, Bobby Cat. <laughs> <gasps> that January if it was August, and, and Bobby stood erected, <laughs> <laughs> and the, the good Lord was res erected. <laughs> Oh. We're going to hell. I'll see you there, old friend. For dinner and a show? You can bet on it. Friday, right before show. Sunday, right after mass. Oh, I'll never that good Friday. I'm ready. Take me now. No, you had him on Sunday. I had him on Friday. I had him Friday, you had him Sunday. No, I had him first, you had him after. I had him first. You yet again were a copycat and a scaredy cat. I wasn't a scaredy cat, I had him. You gave him a fellatio. I had him all the way. <laughs> so, now you want to die first. You want to hand in your essay to Sister Catherine first, and now you want to have Bobby Cat first. Who cares? Fine. What'd you say? What are you, deaf? I said fine, you got two ears, don't you? Barely. Hey, where did we used to get the cannoli? Mulberry. It wasn't Mulberry Street. Mott. It wasn't Mott Street. Worcester Street. Worcester Street, are you out of your mind? The one in New Haven, when Michael and Nino dragged us up to the sticks after they were discharged from the service. Yeah, Connecticut of all places. All oh, those sheesh sheep. And mosquitoes. Oh my God, the mosquitoes. What were those boys thinking? Michael thought he was going to be the next Ralph Waldo <laughs> Emerson. And Nino suddenly wanted to play golf. Sheesh. You know, the war really did a number on their senses of reality. Meh. Nina was already kind of dim. Liberate Europe to write poems and join a country club. <laughs> Sheesh. <laughs> Meh. They were. God bless God. Those brothers did everything together. They lived together, served together, worked together, died together. Did we eat yet? Who knows? I can't stop thinking about cannoli. Hey. Do you remember when we... What? You know. If I had any idea what the heck you were talking about, it would be a miracle and I'd be canonized. Oh, never mind. Just tell me what your dream was about. Oh, please. I don't remember. I think I had a nightmare. Sometimes I'm here. Sometimes I'm there. What the heck are you talking about? What do you know? I know I'm still here. Only because I reminded you you were. You need me. Like a crick in my neck. You need me to keep telling you who's who and what's what. <sighs> and you need me to always do things first. You're just jealous Michael bought the color TV first. And you're just jealous Nino bought the VCR first. You're an airhead. You're a know-it-all. Are you still here? Not for long. What are you waiting for? The last supper and then I'm out. Oh, shoot, hold on. <sighs> Hail Mary, full of. Full of? Are you kidding me? Full of. Give me a second, full of. Grace! Who's Grace? Not who, what? What's what? It's what she was full of. She was full of it. You're full of it. Rosie! If you can't remember a simple Hail Mary, a prayer we have been practicing to prepare for a moment like this all our lives. How do you prepare for dying? By praying. How do you prepare for dying? By living. Bobby. Bobby Cat. <laughs> Especially after I had him first. Enough with the first. <laughs> Who's on first? Huh? Ah, forget about it. Well, thank God Michael and Nino went first. They couldn't live with them. God bless them. One, One right, right after, after the, the other. other.
did everything together. They were good boys. Meh. I'm sorry I woke you. Sorry I called. <laughs> and I'm sorry I said I wanted to die. Me too. Time is it? I don't know. Look at us. Two peas in a pod. <laughs> hey, Pete. Do you remember when we moved? You're kidding. Oh, no, we smooched. I know we smooched. I just asked you if you remembered. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. I just didn't finish my sentence. <laughs> what am I, a mind reader? I was being shy. You weren't being shy when you smooched me. You smooched me. Did not. Did too. Nah, for once you went first. <laughs> well, I couldn't help it. Your hair was so long and shiny. <laughs> I'm not complaining. You're not? No, it was a good smooch. One of the best I ever had. I felt like I couldn't resist you. Only time in my life I ever felt like that. Too bad we never smooched again. Yeah, too bad. I'd smooch you now, but my brakes are on. Come here! <laughs> 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 I love you, Rosie. I love you, too, Gigi. Rosie? I'm okay. I'm okay. I never got to see Pavarotti sing at the Met. I can't believe I never got to do that. I can't believe I, that I never had a chance. He was right there at the Met. It was right there in New York. We were right there just downtown. And I know just what it would have felt like. I know just what he would have sounded like. At the Met. That was my dream. What would he have sounded like? Oh, boy. What would it have felt like? <laughs> it's mooching you. <laughs> that was my Hey! Remember when we went skiing to Mohawk Town together, just you and me? Ian. Remember? Michael and Nino had to wait back at the shop for a delivery. But we took a girl's day out to go skiing. So Connecticut of us. It was very she-she. <laughs> and we had such a great time, just the two of us, that we decided to stay on for the night session. We had hamburgers in the lodge. Those were good burgers. <gasps> And we skied from sunrise to sunset, laughing the whole day away. Oh, beautiful white snow, the sun shining through, but the wind. Oh, the wind. And then it started to get dark, started it getting dark. It started getting dark, and they turned on the big lights and lit up the slope, and the snow was getting worse, remember? And... We decided we'd go for one last run. We'd go all the way up to the top, and we got off the lift. And we scooted around the top of the slope. And the lights went out. And the lights went out. <gasps> the storm had knocked out the power, and I was terrified. You were? We looked down the mountain into the abyss. I mean, it was pitch black. We couldn't see anything. No, was smacking us in the face, and you put me in front of you because I always went first. You always went first. <laughs> and you stood behind me and you held my hip, you flirt. <laughs> and you said you'd guide us down the mountain. I did? 
First you said a Hail Mary. Good thinking. <laughs> you were so brave. I was? Down into the void. I mean, swooshing side to side ever so slowly. My best girlfriend right behind me, leading the way home. I love you, Jean. Love you too, Rose. Rosie? Yeah, Gigi. Tell me about your dream again. What dream? Never mind. Don't go waking me up again. Rosie? <laughs> Rosie! What? You were snoring. Didn't we just have a whole discussion about you not waking me up? Where are we? Uncasville. Is that sunrise or sunset? I think it's the Mohegan Casino. I wouldn't bet on it. Maybe it's the good Lord coming to choose which one of us goes first. Maybe he'll take us together. One after the other. Good night, Gigi. Sweet dreams, Rosie. Rosie? <laughs> You're still there. Michael. Hail Mary. Hail Mary, full of love. Damn. You know, I think the reason Jesus and the disciples were all on one side of the table in the paintings was so that when you looked at the picture, you could feel like you were sitting at the table too. Like there was a place for you. Right there, across from Jesus, face to face. Mama? Don't worry. If I go first, I'll save your seat. Face to face. Two peas in a pod. You can bet on that. Rosie, don't go first. You always go first. You still there? <laughs>